can count on continues with meteorologist Leanne Oakley's live Doppler 15 Fury forecast. Our next winter blast starting to make its way our way. Right now, we're just seeing some of the clouds and mild temperatures. Temperatures out across the area right now. We're sitting mostly in the 30s. 30 in Angola, 32 in Fort Wayne, 33 in Huntington. Here's a look at the satellite and radar across Indiana. Most of us seeing those cloudier skies now, but if we zoom out just a little bit more, you can see where this storm system is now. Now moving through Arkansas, starting to lift up through Tennessee and eventually make its way up into our area as we head into tomorrow morning. But notice the dark blue colors, the heavy snow associated with this system, and yes, that will be pushed into our area tomorrow morning. So here's what we're looking at. Winter storm warning is in effect for portions of the area. County shaded in purple winter uh, weather advisory there a little bit less snow in those locations. Winter storm warning for the area shaded in pink, but look what's just to our south. Lots of county shaded in red. Those are blizzard warnings and we possibly could see an update to that tonight. We'll have to wait and see what the National Weather Service says later this evening. Now we are expecting to see some heavy snow in places. The southeastern portion of our viewing area will get hit the hardest. Paulding, Van Wert, Bluffton, Portland, Marion, five to nine inches of snow there. But then the snow drop drops off very quickly as you head farther towards the west. Four to seven towards Fort Wayne, Bryan, Huntington, Wabash, two to five towards Warsaw and LaGrange. So big difference in snow totals across just our very small area. Not only are we going to see the heavy snow, we do have gusty winds associated with this system. Wind speeds anywhere from 20 to 30 miles an hour. That's sustained winds. Add the gusts on top of that and we could see wind gusts up to 35 miles an hour. So very windy, very treacherous travel conditions tomorrow. So if you do have plans to be on the roads, you might want to rethink that and maybe hold that off until Thursday. So here's what we're looking at on Futurecast as we head through this evening. The clouds continue to lift up from the south. A couple of light snow showers as we head through early Wednesday as that system approaches. But there's the heavy bands of snow moving in at about 6 a.m. Those will continue to lift up, push across the area. All of us seeing snow by 11 a.m. Heading through the rest of the day, we'll continue with those heavier snow bands, and that will continue as we head even into Wednesday evening. The heaviest snow won't even move out until we head into Wednesday, Wednesday night. Then by Thursday morning, we should start to see things clear up. Now, here's the latest from Futurecast. This is what Futurecast puts out for our snow totals. 3.9 3 towards LaGrange, 3.7 towards Warsaw, but there's those heavier areas. 7.3 in Van Wert, closer to 8 in Portland. And tonight at Nightcast, I'll give you an update with the latest forecast models on the expected snow totals. So for tonight, we'll see those mostly cloudy skies. We'll see snow move in by early morning. 26 year low this evening, heavy snow, gusty winds throughout the day tomorrow. 30 degrees your high. We'll continue to see just a little bit of that snow Thursday morning, but that should clear out very quickly. Back to some sunshine the rest of the day and the rest of the week. It's looking a little more like winter. We'll, we'll see temperatures just slightly below where they should be for this time of year. A couple of very small snow systems rolling across all in all. Not too bad. So it seems like people just, you know, if they're traveling for the holiday, maybe back home, just take some extra time to make yeah. sure that the roads are clear where they're going. You know, I, I would recommend if you do have travel plans for Wednesday, either get it done tonight or you might want to wait till Thursday. Those roads not only going to be nasty here, but across the state. So you might want to rethink driving to, uh, driving tomorrow. All right. Thanks, Leanne. So Joe, what's going